is going on guys how are you doing oh welcome back to the channel my name is josh aka the lonely hermit and today ladies and gentlemen we're getting into week two of the elite battle like today we're taking on poke pidge and the colchester celtics an incredibly stressful match for which i'm gonna be honest i did not do any practice battles and i'll explain why in a second here but before we get into all that check out pidge's link down in the description check out our opponent go subscribe to him he's a fantastic content creator and more importantly, a fantastic human being. So please check him out alongside all the other coaches in the description. There are, aside from Paige and myself, 14 other coaches within the league. So go check all of them out. Go subscribe to them so you do not miss any matches within the Elite Battle League. And check out the Elite Battle League channel because I do videos over there as well. Um, <clears throat> if you guys are interested in Nuzlocke as well, I do Nuzlocke on the channel. We have multiple series going on right now. So please check that good stuff out and join our Discord if you want to become a stronger part of the community. With all that being said, I didn't practice battle because I came up with a strategy and I knew that if I practiced battled, it would destroy my confidence <laughs> against Pidge's team. Um, so I just decided to say, screw it. Um, we're going to, this is the, I'm going to be honest, this, this doesn't really play into why I didn't practice battle exactly, but this is the one match this, this season, the regular season that I'm okay with losing, frankly. Um... That doesn't mean I want to lose. It means if we do lose, I'm I'm okay with it. It's fine. Uh, we're kind of going out. We're just gonna go in and just just go in with a bang. We're gonna try and, and hit him hard, quick, uh, and hopefully that throws Pidge off. Uh, because generally his opponents don't do that often against him. Um, so I think we'll be able to catch him off guard. Maybe get a couple kills before he's able to catch up with us. Um, and then you know we'll have the advantage from there on out. So. I'm just gonna try and catch him off guard. It's simple as that. I decided not to not to do these practice battles. I did my prep as per usual. I did my usual prep and all that good stuff. I just did no practice battles. Um, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, even if we get beaten, it's not too bad. Um, the goal is to it's it's fine if we lose. Just don't don't get swept. <laughs> That's it. That's honestly it. Just don't get swept. That's all. Uh, I think we have the the keys on the team to be able to prevent that. So. Um, we're going to go in with a bang, hope for the best, uh, wish me luck, <laughs> even though this battle would have already happened by the time you guys are watching, but still, wish me luck regardless. And uh, yeah, we're going to get all connected with Pidge, and I will catch up with you guys in a second. There we go. Okay, we found Pidge. I think I might have put in the wrong code by accident. Because <clears throat> I, I was doing it, and then I re-put the code, and it worked. <laughs> so I'm assuming I put in the wrong code. My bad. All right. Heart's pumping. Blood's running. Let's get this. I need to see his team. That's going to decide whether my strategy is going to go down the drain or not. I mean, I'm still going to use it. We're going to use the Pidge Missioner. That's the, that's the only way I can spell it with 10 letters. The Pidge Missioner team. Let the battle begin. Let's see what he's got. If he doesn't bring Sol Glao, which he should, that'd be great. If he doesn't bring... This is the exact team I predicted. This is the exact team I predicted. Yep. This is the exact team I saw coming. Ursula, Mudsdale, Wishy, and Zombie. Yeah, this is the exact, scene, exact team I saw coming. Can you hear my voice shaking? All right, we're, basically, we're leading the God of Dawn. We're Dynamax. <laughs> that is our strategy. If it goes down the drain, it goes down the drain. It is what it is. We're going for it. He's, he might lead Ursula uh, to set up something. I don't know. We're going for it. I don't care. <laughs> We're going for it. We are going for it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going for it. I don't know how many times I can say it. We're going for it. <laughs> We're going for it, man. I don't know who still see it coming. Irax, Iraxa. Sends out Ice Q. Okay. That actually kind of works in our favor a bit. So he sends out Ice Q, which is I R A X X A. I always write down the nickname so I remember. Um, does he bring out Wishy Washy? Does he bring out Wishy Washy? Does he bring out Wishy Washy? Does uh, why am I looking? It says it right here. I was gonna say, does Ice resist? I could max ooze. Nah, I don't really want to take a hit. I don't know. Do we max flare, max ooze? We'll max flare. We'll, we'll secure the kill. Because then we'll end up plus one anyways if he stays in. He stayed in. He stayed in, which means he's likely going to dynamax. 
He's likely gonna Dynamax. So this could bite us in the booty. Ladies and gentlemen, this could bite us in the booty. Unless he expected us to switch. We're making a ballsy play here, I'm gonna be honest. He didn't Dynamax either, so we're gonna be plus one. Naganadel. I don't think he expected us to stay in. So we're plus one. I don't think he expected us to stay in. We need to get off of Max Airstream before before this ends. Hopefully he sends in Sogaleo. He'll probably whatever he sends in next. Actually, hope he sends in Zamazenta. Send in Zamazenta. He's probably gonna send in Sogaleo and match my Dynamax, which is fine. Getting rid of Ice Q is honestly that's big for us. I'm I'm okay with with even if that's our only kill. If we if we if he sends in Sogaleo, we're gonna do a good amount of damage to it. Um, it should one shot us. From my calculations, it should one shot us um, on the Dynamax, which is fine. Uh, I'll have to do that later. Sent out Cursula. Okay. Cursula's got something for us for sure. Uh, we're still gonna max airstream. It should do a good chunk of damage. He's gonna Dynamax. Perfect. That's cool. He's got something for us. He's got something for us, which is fine. Like I said, it's fine. He's also going to use his Dynamax, so that means Sogaleo can no longer Dynamax, so that's big for us. I know we already got our Dynamax off, but, you know. Cursula should be able to take a hit here, I feel like. I feel like Cursula should be able to take a hit here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's it going to do to us? Probably finish us, I bet, which is fine. Max Quake, yeah, that should kill. That should kill. No. No, the health bar would've gone down faster if it would've killed. But, it's Spadef is raised. That's fine. It's fine if, if Nagando goes down. It's fine. Uh, the sun's still up. Let's hit it with a, with a stab move. Max Guard, probably, if he has a... That's good, though. That lets me know he's got a setup move of some kind. If he, if he max guards. If he's smart, he max guards here. No? Okay. Well, I mean, it's not a bad decision to not. You know you can take one hit. That's fine. So, Cursula is pretty weak. And we lower its attack, which doesn't matter. It's gonna lower defense. Okay. Interesting. Cursula. Um... So, no sweeps. I didn't expect to sweep. I, I, like, he would have had to bring, not bring, like, two or three Pokemon um, to do that. This is tempting. <laughs> this is tempting. This is also tempting. <laughs> this is also tempting. But I need, I need Muffin for later. We'll send in... Yeah, we're guaranteed to take one hit, so we can just send in Mimikyu. Yeah. We're guaranteed to take one hit. We'll send in Mimikyu. Swords Dance. Do what we gotta do, you know? The usual. Derek. Derek the Mimikyu. Um, what oh, sorry, is that? Obviously, we can get off a free one. It doesn't, I mean, does it really matter what he does right here? He has to attack. If he doesn't attack us, that's a big mistake. Not gonna lie. I don't remember if he had a Pokemon with Infiltrator. I don't think any of the ones he has has Infiltrator. If he's smart, he might send in Mudsdale. Okay, yeah. Well, after the Dynamax, if Curse Logo is down. Of course. I didn't mean right now. <laughs> he didn't max guard, because I think it would have popped. So, max Phantasm. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Lowered our defense, which is fine. Mimikyu's defense isn't great anyway. So, that should burn. That burns the Dynamax, right? Yeah, yeah. That burns the Dynamax out. That's, that's it for the Dynamax. That is it for the Dynamax. So, sh oh, what does more damage? Player off does more damage, I feel like. And we outspeed, just please don't miss. <laughs> if he switches to Zombie or Sogaleo, I mean, if he switches to Sogaleo, that'd be best for him. If he switches to Zombie, that is fantastic for us. We may no, we didn't, okay. Does he have a Parish Body? Yes, he does, okay. I saw that coming. I knew I knew that's why he was gonna bring the Curse Club, but now we don't have Strength Sap to worry about. 
I knew he was gonna bring Parish Body. That's why I expected Cursa. I know I knew it. We can you check your Parish count? I'm actually genuinely curious about that. I feel like you should be able to. Oh my God, people! Hang on, I gotta mute this chat real quick. It's distracting. Mute channel for one hour. Let's see that. So Galeo. Okay. Yep. It's gonna use Sun Steel Strike or whatever. Um. Maybe I should do this, you know. That is me kind of banking that it's physical, but Soglio is generally a physical attacker. I could do that. I don't think I take a hit afterwards, but it kind of sets something else up to come in. Yeah. We're going to do that. Sure. Full Metal Body. Dude, I forgot. That is a move, Josh. I'm so stupid. Well, Mimikyu's dead. I'm so dumb. I should have just gotten the hit off. I should have just gotten the hit off anyways, honestly. I should have just gotten the hit off anyways. That was a really dumb. Even though I like even the full metal body to cancel that out, I still should have just gone for a hit there. I still should have gone for a hit. Mmm. 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 Or mmm. <laughs> Mmm or mmm? Mmm. 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 Ah, so glow. Sun steel. That was dumb. I should have just clicked Shadow Sneak anyways. Even if, even if I remember that he had full mo uh, full metal body, I should be able to take a hit from this thing. I feel like. Um. Should I shut up the toxic spikes? Yeah. Let's do that. If he switches, it actually kind of works out for us. He should go to Wishy Washy here. If he's smart. <laughs> yeah. Wishy. Yep. Uh. And, uh Saturn and I have no idea what this nickname theme is, but it is abstract. I'll give you that. So there is the setup there. This thing's already slow as hell, so there's no point using bulldoze. We're gonna try and stealth bar. We'll let Rodriguez go down. That's fine. I did not write down a kill. Mimikyu. My bad. Mimikyu. Play rough. Curse. We're gonna swap these around. I did not write down that kill. For a second there, I thought I only took out one of his Pokemon, but it's fine. Wow, dude. <laughs> Wishy Washy is slow. <laughs> Holy heck. So we double set up the rocks. That should kill, which is fine. No. Okay. Oh, dang. I sound Italian there. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna bulldoze if we hit, we hit. It, it doesn't matter. He could switch and try and set up with something else. Oh, he could do that. He could do that. That's not good, actually, if he does that. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. He can finish us. I figured he wasn't going to bring all eyesight moves. I figured he wasn't, not this time around. Oh, this is juice, by the way, I promise. That is Wapple Woos. We're going to send in Nessie to deal with this thing. So if we bring in Nessie... So his Cursal is dead. He might switch back to Sol Galeo. Protect. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we get off a free curse, which is fine. We get off a free curse. We get off a free curse. Ice Beam doesn't really do a whole lot to us. Honestly, who the heck is messaging? Oh, okay. Never mind. That's that's excuse. Um, we'll click it again. We'll get a little greedy. I think we could take one hit from this thing. We could take one hit from this thing. I know, I know that freeze dry is the only super effective move I have in the special. I know, I know. What does he send in here? Bad wolf, Zamazenta. Okay. Wait, are these Doctor Who things? <laughs> Bad Wolf is from Doctor Who, right? This is Doctor Who. I feel like it's Doctor Who. 
Am I right in that? Am I wrong? I don't know. So we get off another curse. So he's going to CC here, I feel like. So we're just going to hit it with a fat waterfall. We're going to hit it with a fat waterfall. That Toxic is going to start doing some work. That Toxic is going to start doing some work. Uh, Yeah, we hit it. Oh, well, we're super slow. We could Let's go Avalanche, actually. We're slower. It's going to hit us first. That'd be base 120. CC. Oh, dude. This is going to do a lot of damage. If we take on Samazenta here, this is going to do a lot of damage. Yes! Yes! That's great, dude. That actually opens things up a lot. I'm not gonna lie, Zamazento is. I'm worried about this thing as well, but Zamazento is taking that out. This thing doesn't get poisoned, steel type, so that's. The stealth rocks aren't gonna do jack to lose squad. We're gonna waterfall. It's fine if Lapras goes down. It did a, an amazing job right there. It did an amazing job. We outspeed. Trick room! I like, I like. I like, I like, I like. I saw this coming, by the way. I did I did think he might use Trick Room. We should be able... Well, we burn one turn here, at least. We do burn one turn. We do burn one turn. Does he switch here? Go to Wishy Washy, maybe? So, Galeo took a lot of damage. Another hit kills. But he can... He, yeah, okay. If he goes to Mudsdale, I'll be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> if he goes to Mudsdale, I'll be surprised. So that thing's poison. That residual damage is going to start doing a lot of work. I don't think he thinks we have freeze dry. So I should play to our advantage here. Freeze dry did roughly 50% when I was... Uh... This should do a good amount, though. A decent amount. Yeah, that's more or less what I would have expected. Um, freeze dry actually is going to bring it out of schooling. That Toxic is going to bring it out of schooling. He can attack us all he wants. That Freeze Dry is going to bring him out of schooling. We eat one hit. Okay, cool. Damn it. Damn it. I should have waterfalled again. I should have waterfalled again. So he kind of Toxic stalls himself, though. That is That is that still kind of works in our favor. That still kind of works in our favor. Honestly? He's stalling his own Trick Room here. Yeah, he's stalling Trick Room. So... I kind of just want to Waterfall again, because if it doesn't kill, then the Poison will. In case he he tries to switch. Okay. He doesn't. So at the very least, this thing's go going out of schooling. Oh, no? Interesting. And that does absolutely nothing to us. So Wishy Washy dies to Toxic. Which means Rodriguez got a kill! <laughs> Rodriguez, Toxic, Wishy Washy. This match is not over though, as we learned last week. In Pidge's own match, this match is not over until it's over. Although Zashin is in a pretty decent spot right now. Zashin is in a pretty decent spot right now. And we still have Rotom in the back as well. We still have Rotom in the back. He has one more turn of Trick Room. Does he try to go to Sogleo? And take a hit, or does he go to Mudsdale and start setting up? He goes to Sogle, okay. Maybe he tries to set up the Trick Room. He'll probably attack right here. He'll probably attack right here. The good part about Mudsdale is we can kind of stall it out. Lapras did more than enough here, man. This was a last-second strategy, too. I'm not going to lie. This was a last-second strategy to bring Curse. This was a last-second strategy, so it's just... It's not just <laughs> Mudsdale left. It is Mudsdale left. This thing, ha this thing's gonna get stalled by the, the toxic. It's gonna slowly start whittling down. Uh, I'm gonna bank on it outspeeding. We're gonna bank on it outspeeding. Iron defense. Body press. Okay. Does that kill? No. Avalanche will do a crap ton of damage, and it might even kill. And it does! Let's go! Yes! Lapras is the guy! Oh my god! I did not expect Lapras to do that much work, dude. 6-3, man. 
three. I did not expect Lapras to do that much work. I did the same thing I did last week and I messed up my Elgato. Oh my God. I did not. Of course I want his lead card. I did not expect Lapras to do that much work. That was a last second strategy, guys. That was a last second strategy. I'm not even joking. I was literally last night, right before I got off, I was talking with Humberto and I was just looking at my team and I was just like, why don't I just throw Curse on Lapras? That was the last second strategy, and holy crap, it paid off. Holy crap, it paid off. I did not write down one of the kills. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. That was incredible. GG's Pidgey sent me a GG's. I meant I didn't put I didn't put good luck. Oh, I feel like a I feel like a jerk. Um Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think we did catch him off guard with the Nagana deal. We didn't do a whole heck of a lot, but Lapras was definitely MVP of that match, man. Lapras took out Mudsdale, took out Wishy Washy, took out Sokaleo, took out Zamazenta. I didn't write down the the uh, the Wishy Washy kill. That's what I didn't. No, oh, no, I did. I did. That was a. Uh... Oh my god. Okay. Um, let me tell Pitch something real quick. Uh. Wow. Um, so GG's to Pidge. He did an, an, an incredible job. That was that was uh that was intense. I, I, I really hoped that the beginning was gonna be enough to throw him off. I think it might have uh kind of put him on the back foot, but I think being able to set up the the, the hazards with Moringas um was a big play. Him using Trick Room ultimately didn't make a difference. I mean, I didn't really understand that, I'm not gonna lie, because Lapras was cursed and twice, so I was minus two speed. Um that's why I was able to kind of outspeed everything in Trick Room. Um so that was big and then just lapras going huge that kurt i'm glad i came up with that that was the last second strategy with lapras to use curse man that was the last second strategy uh and clearly it paid off it paid off because lapras essentially got four kills i mean it was runerigus's toxic spikes that finished the wishy-washy but that was basically lapras's kill maybe i should have just used freeze dry to hand the kill to lapras but it was what it was uh, it was just in case he switched. That's why I chose to use uh, Waterfall instead. Um, but man, oh man, what a match. GG's Pidge. Go, again, check out Pidge in the description. Go check out his match. Uh, go watch his point of view. And of course, check out all the other coaches in the Elite Battle League. Check out the Elite Battle League channel as well. I do videos over there. Thank you guys so much for supporting the LA Inferno. And we will be, we will be back next week to take on the Doorman. And the, no, 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 no. No, 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 wait, no, 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 no. We're taking on the Iowa and Cinewar. I got my matchup, so I thought Iowa was week four. We're taking on the Iowa and Cinewar and Inferno Man, so that should be a fun one. And of course, be sure to share social media, friends, family, everyone you know, let people know, lonely here, it's where it's at. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.